who's ready to learn how to catch more Browns this year. Let's go. guys we're going to go over some of the patterns that work the best for us and we start running these uh stingers in mid to early march right through june when those fish are in that five to 20 feet of water you know before the big bait moves in we're targeting fish that are feeding on alewives and the small young of the year bait so we're going to start up here we have the green glow alewife uv lance's two-face uv Die Hard UV Seasick Wilder. As you can see, all four of these spoons have a real common color theme, black, green, glow, UV on most of them, except for the Seasick. These are four of my best patterns. Two of these four are in the water almost every morning to start, if not all four. And they work clear water, dirty water, doesn't seem to matter. The fish just find these patterns in my spread. Now, if we have a clear water conditions or first thing in the morning, UV tucks, Black Ice, Black Widow, and the Black Owlwife. Black Owlwife really is a, a stud for us last uh, spring, especially in that clear water. The Black Widow was great this spring. The Black Ice is good pretty much, you know, from right to beginning on. When the water's just on that clear side, those browns really like that pattern. The UV Tux has always been a, a good one. We have the Copper Green Glow Owlwife. That spoon, when the water's clear and those fish get finicky, especially in shallow, really seems to work well. I think that mimics a uh, goby pretty well, so the browns really seem to pick it off. Then we have the Rosemary's Baby and Chicken Wing. They have that black, gold, orange look to them. The two, those two spoons work well in bright sun, dirty water, clear water. They just, browns seem to like that combination of colors and really seem to chew on those on the days when they're hot, they're hot put a couple more out in your spread you know then we go to the brighter patterns we have the mongoose which is just a classic brown trout stud the fickle pickle uv which is you know hasn't been around for a few years but it's really found its place in our lineup you have the gold doctor which is just a mongoose with a gold ladder back but on a gold blank that seems to work real well in high sun and stained water uv can't afford it one of my favorites i mean same thing that that spoon will go out first thing in the morning clear or dirty water you think it'd be a dirty water only but for some reason there's days and browns love that spoon in clear water and here's a little history for you this spoon here is the original goose and tonic i hand painted this spoon back in 2011 just trying to combine or make a different version of patterns that we already had that, like i said that mongoose has been a classic stud so i just kind of take those colors and made a little different version and it's been a real killer for me that's one of my first spoons i put out in the spring it works from uh, everywhere i've ever fished it and then it was move up. We have the Neon Gator, UV NBK, Angry Bird, Caramel Dolphin, and the Killer Mongoose. These five have been my best spoons on short leads, um, whether it's a Chinook Diver or a Mini Disc. NBK UV was uh, turned. I got turned on to that one by a friend of mine, Casey Presco at Dirty Goose Sport Fishing. He loves that on his Chinook Divers. I like the brighter stuff when the water's real dirty and then more naturals on my minis when it, the water clears up but this year it hasn't seemed to matter the clear water that killer mongoose has taken some big browns for me and my second best would be that neon gator and it's been in dirty water and even when we get out to the clear those two spoons are really producing over the past years the uh, caramel dolphin has been a stud on a mini disc when that water has some color to it and not saying real mud water but that in between Angry Birds had a few great days this year. So these are my go-to spoons, guys. I mean, I can't run them all at once, but at any point in the day, I have two to three of these in the water every day. And uh, if you keep these in your box and fish them hard and fish them in the areas where there's fish, you're gonna catch some fish on them. So let's talk about some stick baits. These are uh, Smithwicks in a four and a half inch and a three and a half inch size. These are some of our favorite baits to run and a short, shallow bay rat. So dirty water, baby bass, brim, fire tiger, jailbreak smithwick, some of our favorites. 
baby orange belly, black back, and an all white one. These patterns work great in dirty water. When that water gets a little clear, well, as well as the babies, fire tiger. When the water's a little clear, Tennessee Shad um, is a good producer, so it has that little orange, but not too much. It's love is a great bait when it's clear, believe it or not, early in the morning, or in just a slightly stained water. Have just a straight black and silver smithway that's killed more browns on our boats over the years than probably any stick bait, or most stick baits combined. When the water's real clear, it's bright sun, the old log perch. Same, we talk about imitating bait. This one really imitates a, a goby really well. Then there's a black and silver that we put lines on. Um, I learned this trick from Tom Burke at Cold Steel Sport Fishing back in the spring of 99 when I started working with him. It's really seemed to break up the pattern of that bait. I mean, you look at the two together, it's not much different, but that black stripe one really seems to pop off some days. And then just smaller version, that same bait's always been a real classic for us. Over to the bay rats, goose and tonic bay rat. You would think that's a dirty water killer. There's days when it's crystal clear, they pick that blue right of the spread. It's amazing. Then we have the citric shad. This one really seems to work best in dirty, dirty water. The real, the dirtier, the better. It's when I've had success with the citric shad. Um, that's a pattern Rick Ajecki at Yankee Troller came up with after fishing a thin fin. That pattern, he loves it. It really seems to work great. We got the can't afford it. The bay rat, that's another one. Dirty water and clean water. They like that bait. They're riding dirty. Casey Prisco developed that one a few years ago. Then there's the AU. This one here is another great bait. It has a little bit of chartreuse, a little bit of yellow, so it'll work good and dirty, but that really performs best for me in the real clear waters. Um, when the water's clear, they like that bait. So, I mean, these are, these are the baits that I go to first. These are my favorites. Um, just like the spoons, I told you about my favorites, not saying there's not other stuff that works. There's baits that get hot. We all know that from time to time. But these are my favorites, and, you know, just give them a shot. I think you'll be uh, surprised and happy with the results. There's a lot of good companies out here, but Smithwicks and Bay Rats are my two favorite stick bait companies and Stinger Spoons. Um, hopefully this helps you guys put some more browns in the boat, and, hey, Coho's Kings as well. Um, that can't afford it. Kings seem to pick that out too. That's a good one. So, hey guys, keep up the chase and let's go make some smiles.